hybrid grids are taking place exactly now. In the, uh, for example, Baltic Sea, we have uh, HVDC. We have large project in USA, in China, 100,000 kilometer of uh, this network they are uh, built right now. Or for example, we have large project in Korea when we have a storage integration, we have connection of the sources and appliances and so on. DC has clear advantage. So the return on the investment is simply higher because the infrastructure is lighter, is more efficient, can also transfer more power, but also AC has uh, advantages because of course we have a more easy in uh, breaking uh, the current when there is a fault and what we can see we can see in the future a system where AC and DC will be available at the same time and then we need connectivity among this system DC of different uh, voltage value or AC but we also need that the maintenance requirement of the system which connect this network there is also low. We are in a power electronic region. Schleswig Holstein and Hamburg uh, together, but also South Denmark, they are known as power electronic region. We have a lot of companies, some of them they are quite well known in this region, but also we have a research center of Fraunhofer and we have of course universities, several universities that have competencies there, University of Applied Science, but also university as the University of Kiel with 350 years of history, they will want to lead also in this field. And then we have a, a network of power electronic where companies and university they are together or an inter interregional project where they sit together and they make study and they see what is needed for example we are seeing that 75 percent of the employees in power electronics in this region they have a, a university degree and when we ask all these partners what is the focus of the research of power electronics in the future they all say smart grid We have infrastructure and we have competences. Infrastructure, for example, is a medium voltage laboratory where we have the possibility to circulate up to one megavolt ampere of power in three cells, which can be isolated. We have the possibility to have connection to a real medium voltage network up to 10 kilovolt or to have an asynchronous connection. Then we have a new battery laboratory where we'll be investigating energy conversion and battery technology with material science people and for example in this case we will got the certificate of this laboratory directly for our uh, minister president Gunther here and then for example we have uh, of course competencies here in the, the isolated DC DC converter when we started to do the research in this field there was just an efficiency of 92 percent and we were able to uh, grow the efficiency up to 97 percent uh, but also the use of seek and gun in other DC DC converter used for example for charging station and uh, we would focus not only on the efficiency and having a very compact system but also we did focus on the aspect related to fault tolerance, detection of faults also in cooperation with local uh, industry and uh, reliability and of course on maintenance. What we want to achieve with our multi-port DC-DC system? We want to achieve connectivity because we have several systems with several DC voltage value. We want to achieve fault tolerance. We want to achieve low maintenance. We want to achieve low cost because we have only one transformer. We want to achieve integration, looking at specific situation to embed the system but also, of course, we want to have high efficiency. We believe that we have a superior solution to integrate energy and sources from different parts, and we can integrate this solution into a very compact system. Uh, this is particularly promising for the need to integrate energy storage into the systems, uh, either for a backup solution or for integrating renewable energies in a cost-effective manner. We can offer this in a very compact solution with a high safety because we have the galvanic isolation. We believe that this is a solution that is uh, needed in the market and because of that we want to serve the market with our spin-off activity.